Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in a locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things, but, as I said, I was a curious child. ended with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. I was sure that someone 
had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking through the mountains and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days. And all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Thank you. 
Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special. But I don't know what happened to them. Hmm, these blue lights, did Fred put them here, or was somebody else here as well? Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people or more like salamanders either way they, they walked like humans they talked like humans how is that possible <laughs>
Over here. Hey. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me. But it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year, for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like she didn't really mean it. Like. When you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday? That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here.
A stranger in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it, and go into the chasms. Find Fred, and if you see Madeline, take care of her. Be safe. I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? It's getting late, honey. Should we continue tomorrow?